This is so windy. It's fantastic. I love taking photos of the sea when it's rough, windy. It's amazing. If you've got a longer lens like this TT Artisan 500 millimeter prime and you're wondering how to get really pin sharp images with your lens, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it in three really simple stages. Now, before I do that, just to say sorry about the wind, it's so windy here and the waves are so rough, but it's great for photography. Um, thank you to everyone who's been sending me messages to thank me for the presets. It's just so great to see how you're using those presets to, um, for your photography. So thank you for all the really kind messages that I've been getting from you. It's so great. If you've not downloaded them yet, do click the link below because there's a massive um, special offer there, especially on the bundle preset pack. You get 110 presets for a really, really stupidly cheap price. So do click below when you watch this video. Now, three simple things that you can do to achieve really sharp focus on with, your, with any long lens, whether it's manual focus like this or whether it's an autofocus lens, it doesn't matter. The first thing you have to do is make sure you've got a really high, fast shutter speed. You don't want to be on a slow shutter speed because you will then um, pick up any hand movement with that slower shutter speed and you'll blur your image, especially with a lens like a 500 millimeter. So make sure you're up really high. With these waves, I'm shooting up around about anything from one to five thousandth up to one to ten thousandth of a second. So really fast shutter speed. And it captures that moment and prevents the handshake. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure you've got a very wide zone of focus. What that means is, is that if you are up at around about f11, there's going to be a really wide area of your, of your shot which is in focus. Whereas if you're down at like f1.2 or f2.8, you're going to find there's a much shallower depth of field and it's harder to get everything in focus. So fast shutter speed, you want to be at f11, round about that. And often on that, these kind of lenses, f11 is the really sharpest area of the lens anyway. And the third thing to do is to use the magnifying glass on the back of your camera. What it will do is it will help you to fine tune your focusing. Especially on a manual focus lens like this, I can then tweak the focus by pressing this before I press my shutter speed. And it just means I'm guaranteed to know exactly if I've got it in focus or not. Now, even if you've got an autofocus lens, still do that, because it will help you know if you really are in focus and catching the right area in your focus. So those three things, it's worth doing that. Now you're gonna to have to boost your ISO for this. I've got mine at 1,600. It's totally fine. Doesn't make a difference. Won't make it, you know, it's still really clear. Oh, look at the light over there. I'm gonna show you the light. Look at that. It's just beautiful. So you just, Dial in f11 on the lens. I'm up at 1,600 ISO. I got one to 10,000th of a second for my shutter speed. And then I press the back of the camera, just double check that I'm in focus. Now the waves are moving around a lot, so I'm having to really pick my spot and just get that fine tuned. There we go. And then, There it is. Look at that light on that sea. Just beautiful. Now with 500 millimeters, I'm obviously really focusing quite a far away. So it's just a matter of finding your spot, getting focused on it, and then Drilling your shutter speed, your 
aperture and you're good to go.